Okay, so today we're going to use the extension ports of the Pico board, which are these four things here, which say A, B, C, and D. In order to use these, we have to open our plastic bag, which contains four leads or cables. So open up your plastic bag and untangle the cables until you have all four separate. So now you have them all separated, take one and plug it in to slot A. You might need to push it with a little bit of force, but be careful with it. So these things here are called crocodile clips for reasons which are quite obvious. And they measure the resistance in a circuit. The red one is positive and the black one is negative. When you put them together, it completes a circuit and we can make something happen in Scratch. So the first thing we'll do is connect our Pico board to the computer, go into Scratch and let's see what numbers this is giving us. So open up Scratch. As always, we're going to go to more blocks, add the extension, double click Pico board, and you should see that your Pico board starts to flash. So how do we see what numbers a sensor is giving to us? Let's use the same blocks as always. When green flag clicked, forever, then we need to create a variable, remembering that a variable is just a place to store a number. Let's call this resistor A. Click OK. Then we'll go to set resistor A to and what do we want to set it to? Of course the center value of resistance A. So go to more blocks resistance A center value. And what that will do is create an infinite loop where this value, resistor A, will be constantly updated with whatever value these two crocodile clips give us. So let's go ahead and click the green flag and have a look at the resistor value. When I touch together these two leads, look at what happens. When they're apart, we get 100 resistance, which is the maximum. When we touch them together, it goes down to zero, which means there is no resistance, or in other words, the circuit is complete. So your next task is to copy this code and make sure that when you touch the crocodile clips together, you get zero. Do that now, please. Okay, so now we've got that done, let's make something happen. I want to make it so that when we touch these together and complete the circuit, Scratch makes a sound. So let's start to think about what that means. If resistance A is equal to zero, play sound. Let's make that in Scratch. So, how can we do it? Let's go to Events. When green flag clicked. Forever. If, then. So, have a think about which blocks we can use to achieve this. This shape here means we need an operator. So, let's say the equal to sign. If resistance A 
sensor value is equal to zero, then we want something to happen. Namely, let's make a sound. If you remember from the alarm clock task, it's always better to use the until done in an infinite loop, or else it just keeps playing it again from the start and you get a very strange noise. So let's give this a try. Green flag. Let's touch our two crocodile clips together. And we play the sound. Your next task is to copy this code and get a meow sound when you touch the crocodile clips together. So your next task will be to put yourselves in the circuit. Here's what I want you to do. One person in the pair hold on to the metal part of the red crocodile clip. The other person in the pair hold on to the metal part of the black crocodile clip and then do a high five. And let's have a look at what happens to the number in our resistor A variable. Okay, let's see that again. So it goes down to 98 out of 100. I want you to use this information to make it so that when you and your partner high five, Scratch plays a drum sound. That's your next task.